one of the leading players in the Nigeria oil and gas industry, Forte Oil PLC, made history as it became the first oil and gas corporate to list a bond in the FMDQ OTC exchange. To mark the listing of the bond valued at 9 billion naira, the management of Forte Oil PLC visited the FMDQ to perform the official signing and listing ceremony. In his opening remarks, the group CEO of Forte Oil PLC, Mr. Akin Akinfemiwa, described the listing as prestigious and an attestation to the six-year transformation of the company. First of all, we find it uh, prestigious to have our bond listed on FMDQ. Um, we believe it's a very unique opportunity. Um, I know I have a lot of gurus here whom I shouldn't be explaining the benefits of listing to, but just for the records, um, listing on FMDQ will give us, first of all, the transparency in terms of uh, um, the, the buying and selling of the bonds and, of course, liquidity and um, overall price discovery. Um, in addition, I think it will also boost our brand equity in the sense that the more we do well as a company, um, the more people would be attracted to the bonds in terms of buying and selling. And um, I think it's a good thing not, for, not only for um, the financial services industry, but also for the country in general. Also speaking at the events, the group CEO of United Capital, the lead financial advisor for the listing, Mrs. Toyun Sani, commended Forte Oil PLC and believed the company had the strong fundamentals to deliver on the bond. This is a company that has a wholly integrated presence in the energy sector, covering power, both the upstream and downstream. And um, they have brought to the market a security that is very well priced at 17.5%. It has a decent, modest tenor, just five years. And um, they have an A- minus rating by GCR. Um, on the whole, it's a good instrument by a consistent company with um, excellent track records of performance over the years. We have no doubt in our minds that we're building Africa's leading investment banking institution. Um, for us to be able to do that, we need to partner with issuers like Forte. Um, and we support issuers with um, significant funding. So of the $9 billion, I believe 68.13% of that underwriting came out of United Capital. In the last um, two years, we have put at least $60 billion of our own funds in the debt capital market in Nigeria. 80% of that has been for corporates like this. So it is to send a clear message that we're in the business of empowering Nigerian corporate entities, African corporate entities, African governments. And so we also serve you know, the majority of the Nigerian state governments that have come to this market. This is not the first of the issuances that we have brought to FMDQ. We will bring more. Um, coming from, um, from a 2016 performance, which um, even though I'm modest, but I must say has been stellar and um, has already been released to the public, um, I want to say that um, we aim to push the frontiers further in 2017 by partnering with the excellent institutions in this room to keep delivering value to all stakeholders. The Chief Financial Officer of Forte Oil PLC, Mr. Julius Owutuga, and Mrs. Toyin Sonny, Group CEO of United Capital, speak further on the significance of the Forte Oil listing on FMDQ. For us at Forte, number one is the fact that this is the first um, corporate oil and gas um, bond on the FMDQ. Um, our reason for this is still um, based on our firm commitment on transparency as an organization. Um, transparency and full disclosure is one thing that we pride ourselves in that we do very well. And for us, it's not just getting the monies from the investors, it's to ensure that at least the investors at all times can always look at our records and be sure that, okay, this is uh, an organization that is worth uh, investing in at all times. In addition to that, listing on the FMDQ, we believe will provide the required liquidity for 
for, for the investors um, in addition to price discovery. So it means if you want to buy and sell our shares, you know you are buying at the right price because it's listed and it's trading um, um, regularly. So for us as an institution, uh, we believe this would give the right confidence that is required. And then what it also means, as like you know, this is the first series uh, in our 50 billion naira program. So this is the first series, which is 9 billion. So we believe listing it would also give the required confidence and um, over time we'll be able to raise our 50 billion. Well, let me start again by saying United Capital is very pleased and delighted to bring to the FMDQ today um, Nigeria's first corporate oil and gas sector bond. Um, the 40 oil, 9 billion naira, five-year, 17.5% um, bond. We are happy because um, it's an issuance by a company with a consistent track record of performance. Um, it's an issuance that enables the capital market to showcase what it can do for other sectors apart from banking and finance, where the predominant number of corporate issuances over the years have come from. And we at United Capital are happy to keep ex expanding this frontier, which was why we did the first hospitality uh, corporate bond, and now we are happy to do the first corporate bond in the oil and gas sector. You are aware that our oil and gas industry has been challenged by the macroeconomic um, developments in the last couple of years. We think that um, the, there is a huge opportunity for such companies to access the debt capital market to fund, you know, their, um, to refinance some of their existing obligations and then to fund their expansion plans as well. With the prospects of liquidity, price discovery and transparency for the 40 oil PLC to its listing in FMDQ, investors are hopeful that this will propel the company to greater strides amidst the challenging economic environment.